Hi all and welcome to this video financial modeling blog tutorial. Today we're going to look at corkscrew accounts. If you haven't already done so, please look at our blog and read the corkscrew accounts what the blog. Okay, in that blog we look at an example and it says given the below company net profits and dividends find the retained earnings opening and closing balances for the period if the retained earnings balance at period zero is zero. Okay, so using the concepts that we learned from the blog tutorial, we're going to set up a corkscrew account. Okay, so the way we're going to do that is we're going to type in opening balance, closing balance, a few lines below, we're going to put in net profits. So these are, I'll put ACA additions. So these are our additions and I'm going to put dividends. Okay, so the dividends reduce our retained earnings. So these are deductions. Okay. I'm just going to tidy this up quickly. Now, if you've read the blog tutorial, you know that the opening balance of the current period is equal to the closing balance of the previous period. Okay, so equals the closing balance of the previous period. So let's put that for period one's opening balance. Now, the closing balance is simply going to be the addition of all the things above. And we do this purposely we set up the account so that all deductions are negative numbers. So if we sum them, then we're basically deducting them. And all the additions are positive numbers. So all we're going to do here is we're going to go Alt equals Enter. And we're going to copy that one across, OK? So Control R to copy it across. And if you've got our shortcuts, you can go Control Shift C to put that in number format. Okay, the net profits, as we said, is going to be a positive thing. So when we're looking at our retained earnings, our retained earnings is equal to our opening balance plus any net profits, less any dividends, and that will give us our closing balance for our retained earnings. So let's go equals, and it's a positive number, so net profit and copy that one across. So all I'm doing there is shift arrow across a few times and control R. Okay, so the dividends are deductions. So what we want to do here is we want to make it really simple and all we want to do is go equals negative and the dividends, okay? And shift arrow across and control R. Okay? And that's how you set up a corkscrew account. So here we've got our additions flowing through, our deductions flowing through, and then our closing balance, right? And the simple thing about a corkscrew account is that the opening balance of the current period always equals the closing balance of the previous period. So this concept can be applied to so many different things such as depreciation accounts, ledgers, financing facilities, etc, etc. So if you're doing any sort of advanced financial modeling, you'll need to know how to do a corkscrew account. 